Oh, wait. Can everyone hear me now? Can everyone hear me now? <laughs> Hello? Can anyone hear me? I press the go live button. Okay, apparently I have to press two go live buttons. So I only pressed one of them and that's why it didn't work. Oh, this music is wild. I, I found some music, but I don't know if it's going to work out since most of my streams have been quiet so far so that you could listen to your own music. So I don't know. Do you, do you guys want to try music? Or so I did find some music on the YouTube studio thing. I mean, they're not totally my style, but I managed to find some that are okay. I'm going to be coloring and lining this uh, commission today. You'd rather hear me talk than music? Okay, uh, I'll, I'll do a poll to the people who are here. You, should I play music? Music. Hello from Brazil, or I guess hello to Brazil. No music means that I can listen to my own music and not bother anyone else with it. So I'm personally a no music vote, but if people prefer... I know some people who come in and they're like, wait, is there no audio? Because it's just like silence when I'm not talking. Before stream, I was warming up. I was just because I'm warming up on lining. Uh, since sometimes when I start to line, I'm like, ew, icky. I don't like what I'm doing. So I was like, you know what? Let's warm up. So, and I also have a homework assignment coming up soon with foreshortening. And so I was like, what if I draw someone looking up since I am not really good at that at the moment? Will I talk with the music? Yes, I will be talking along with the music. Um, the music shouldn't be too loud. I'll ask you guys if like the volume is fine. Looks like... Yes, music is winning, so I guess we can try it out until I run out of songs. And then, no music. Alright. Let me play it. I tried to find chill stuff. But, I don't know if they are okay. Here's some piano. <laughs> Let me know if it's too loud or too low. I didn't want to play music that was like too wild. I just wanted it to be chill, but I can't exactly play the music that I normally play in my videos. I need to pull up a reference of my style since I tend to forget how I do this stuff. How is everyone doing today? It's a Sunday, right?
I need to remember to do all this setup when <laughs> before I start stream. Hello, hello. I'm trying to manifest this piece for this one too. The lines, I'm going to embrace the messy. Embrace the messy. I'll start with the eyes. What are you playing? What game are you playing? Well, that was that was song was very short. Hang on, next one. <clears throat> Does anyone else just start with the eyes all the time with A-Line? Because for some reason I gravitate towards the eyes. Don't know why. I feel like I can't draw a face without the eyes. Like the eyes need to be there already for me personally. You always do the eyes first. Yeah, eyes and eyebrows. But then I usually go to the lips and then the nose and then the face. I can't, you know how some artists draw like the head uh, and then and then they draw the face within it. And I'm like, I can't do that. I can't. I was gonna look something up and then I forgot while I was talking. Oh yeah, the new game came out, right? I'm not a Call of Duty enjoyer, so I only know my my knowledge from friends. There seems to be a delay on stream and I don't like it. But I thought I put no delay. You always mess up the head if you don't see the face. Yeah, me too. And I already almost forgot to start recording for my YouTube video. I really like the sketch in this one, so I'm going to try to keep the the charm of the sketch as much as possible here these are this is the one i landed on but i did two other variations so i did this one and then this one with uh this character's original hair And this is the base of it. This is another pose that I was messing around with. And then this is the other, the third version, but um, 
my client, who is also my friend, ended up liking this one the best, which I'm so glad because I it was the one that I liked the best too. Yeah, this character's colors are so good. Character's name is Kubi. Sad song. Man, my lines were so messy in this piece. How do I do this again? Thick. Lately, I've been reminding myself to do thicker lines because for some reason I've been like doing thinner lines and I haven't been liking it. It's, it's a different style than what I'm going for. It's not necessarily bad. It's just I like my art with thicker lines better. Yo, hello, Megan. Guess who I'm working on? Megan, doesn't Kubi have like these types of eyebrows? Or like, does that not matter? Do you just let the artists decide if they want to do eyebrows like that or not? You stop by Mazamuno's booth. I wish I could go. Which uh which artist did you buy stuff from? Maybe I know them or know of them. I know Valanxi was there, but I don't think you're uh, into the stuff that they draw. I don't believe so. I like them for their Percy Jackson art. Okay, I can do whatever I want with the eyebrows. Awesome. Oh. I bought prints from Chumi, but the wall that I put them up on is my living room, so I still don't have anything on my bedroom walls. And I know that's kind of weird to some people. That my bedroom walls are bare and naked. Bought mostly Miku and Honkai stuff. Of course, of course. My voice is so nice to listen to. Oh my god, you're making me blush. Lately, my voice has actually been like nasally. And I don't know why. And I'm like. Like, what's going on? Am I, like, about to get sick or something? Like, my nose isn't congested, so... But it's been, like, deeper lately, and I'm like... 
I don't know if I like that. What's my opinion on Tamu? Okay, so I have to be kind of careful about what I say. Because I did a Tamu sponsorship. But I regret it. And I wish I was able to cancel it. Because I'm not a huge fan of Tamu. Let's just hope that... I don't know, I don't get in trouble for saying this. But I didn't sign a contract, so... Not like it matters. I'm not legally binded. Um, but I feel like it's like AliExpress. It's just another version of AliExpress. Shein. Cheap and fast. But I feel like no matter how many things are actually unethical and wrong about a website like that, or a brand or company like that, people are always going to be using it. And... You know, it's just up to you to decide if you want to use it. Personally, I'm I'm going to refrain from using them. These lips are going to make me struggle, I bet. I've wanted her to have her tongue sticking out. But it might look a little weird. Your voice was also being nasally and you got sick? Well, that's not a good sign for me. One, one, oh, eight K. I gotta look them up sometime. See if I've gotten any better at drawing teeth. Hmm. Hello to anyone who is just coming in. I'm working on a commission. I'm going to line it and hopefully get to the uh, painting step. I'm actually intending for this stream to be long because i'm i want to force myself to work since thanksgiving is coming up and i'm, I'm not going to be home for a, a bit What is this mouth? Like, what, what am I doing with this mouth? Oh, your brother got me sick. Your brother got me sick? Is that what I just said? <laughs> what? Your brother got you sick. My brother also got me sick. When, when COVID was big, uh, my brother got COVID. And then I didn't even have contact with him at all but i don't know what how else i would have gotten covid because i don't i don't go outside and so i'm blaming my brother so my brother gave me covid and that was not a good experience because i had to take a uh, paxlovid i'm gonna try drawing this with it just being like her mouth is open and her tongue isn't out. Let's see how that looks. Oh gosh, the teeth look weird. But I don't want both. Okay, I'll, I'll do the, the tongue because it, it makes more sense for the other fang to not show because the tongue is covering it.
water has never tasted the same. Uh, when I had COVID, I didn't have the symptoms where it changed my taste, so luckily that didn't happen to me, but... Uh, sorry that happened to you. What's my opinion on going to college for an art education? Ooh, I have some thoughts about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so... So, my next podcast video, which is hopefully going to be uploaded soon, is actually going to be about my updated art college experience. Because uh, I go to a normal CSU college, but I, I'm an art major and I take art classes. And uh i've had a lot of thoughts about possibly dropping out because i'm starting to feel like it's just not worth it at least for my situation it's all situational it really depends on what your goals are and my goal is to not work in the industry and mainly people go to art college to get a degree so that they could you know have a good and credible resume to get jobs right but I don't exactly have to worry about that because I'm a self-employed artist and I believe that I'm going to continue being a self-employed artist even after college so I'm in the boat where I'm like I don't think it's worth it but I'm trying to stick it through and stay in art college and just finish so I haven't wasted like the four or five years that I've spent being in it But, uh, outside of, like, what your goals are after you finish, I do think, like, it's a great way to get pushed into learning what you're supposed to learn with art. Like, right now, this semester, I've finally started to learn the fundamentals of anatomy, and it's made my art better. Because I'm like, oh, I actually am learning about the skeleton and muscles and stuff. How close am I to finishing? I was supposed to graduate next semester. Like, next semester was supposed to be my last one, but because the art department is so competitive, I couldn't get into the classes that I needed. So I have to stretch it one more semester. So I'm supposed to graduate fall next year. And it sucks. I'm like, I hate this. <laughs> It just keeps extending and extending no matter what I do. And they keep giving me like uh, late registration dates, so. <clears throat> that neck looks weird. When you had COVID, your entire body was just weak. Yeah, it sucks. I think I just, like, I wanted to play video games when I had COVID, but I just couldn't. Like, my body couldn't take it. The headaches were really bad. You've heard a lot of artists not recommend art school. Um, I think it's because of the way, like, the internet has shaped art culture and art education like you could literally get a, a pretty good art education just by being online for free like going on youtube and watching tutorials and stuff it's just that when you get into the specifics like let's say uh you want to learn how to 3d model or you have a specific job in mind that you want to do like let's say you want to you want to rig for um animation movies right you want to do the rigging for those characters that's when it gets specific my music is distracting me because um what, what was i saying so when you start to get specific and be like i want to I want to rig for animated movies. Then that's when it gets a little difficult to study that just free online with like YouTube and stuff because because 
you don't know about the specifics of that like uh industry or department of art um assuming let's say you want to do rigging but you're kind of clueless about what actually goes into it you don't have the keywords to look up like how to do certain things because you don't know how to do it right so it's like how are you going to learn about what you want to try if you don't know where to start or you don't know the steps to to learn like I took a 3D art class uh, last semester, and I'm taking one this semester too, and there's a bunch of like terminology and stuff that I now know, but I never learned online because I didn't know what to look up. Like, I only knew how to make an original character, like, I didn't know how to make uh, 3D anything. I didn't know, like, what poly groups were, whatever, whatever. So that's when art school comes in handy. Plus you get to learn from industry professionals, people who have worked in the industry. So it just depends on your goals. But I feel like if you're a hobbyist, you're unsure, and, you know, maybe you can't afford college, then... Yeah, honestly, I'm in the same boat with the other artists. It's kind of not worth it. But everyone's different. Um, for me, I feel like I'm like 50-50 with my experience where I feel like half of my experience has made art school worth it. Then the other half is like, I wasted my time. Goodbye, Tiramisu. Thanks for being here. Uh, what is my favorite art career? My, my, not favorite, favored art career. I just want to be my own boss. I want to, um, be self-employed for as long as I can. Okay, what am I doing? Currently, I own a business with my sister, which is my sticker shop. And that's been going well, so I'm definitely more on the path of being self-employed than I am going into the industry. But if I were to go into the industry, I would want to be a character designer. people's stories about it make you not want to go I mean I feel like with anything there isn't any experience that is going to be pleasant 100% of the time Black Friday stickers yes I'm gonna close the shop like tonight or Monday and then I'm gonna pre prepare for it and then I'm going to have a sale from Friday to Cyber Monday. So just that entire weekend. I'm thinking like 20 or 25% off. I think last year I only did 15% off. What settings do I have that makes it switch from pen to eraser? Uh, I press C. You, if you could see here, I'm pressing C. And I think... I, I changed that, so I don't think that's a default. But I don't remember what to look up to find that. I wish they had a search thing. Let me Google it. I'm going to play an ad while I do that. Oh, it is C by default. So it is C by default.
you're in high school and landing the advanced art class. But yeah, a lot of the stuff they're teaching is definitely stuff you are, you know. That's the same with college too, because um unless you pass like AP art or something, you're gonna have to take the lower division intro to art classes and that I feel like that's the worst part about art college. And that's why I said that half of it was a waste of time because it was stuff I already know. And I feel like the curriculum should change for that. Where maybe, I don't know, they make you take like a small test to test out the knowledge that you already have that can excuse you from lower division classes because they're acting like people these days don't just have the internet and are able to learn some some art from it. I'll make this detailed later. You know what? I'll do... <laughs> I'll do the eye patch another time. I'm going to set that aside for now. So I know I'm going to struggle with it. Are there new being... Are there new stickers being added to my shop? Uh, there might be some new minis, but other than that, I, I, I already added all the new things that I had in the recent shop update. Um, so there really isn't going to be anything new because I've been too busy working on other stuff, but I'm still going to keep like the new arrivals, everything that's like newest recently. Oh yeah, by the way, um, with the the high school art thing, yeah, you're you're rarely gonna get digital art. It's mostly you. You're going to have to suffer or not suffer, but sit through traditional art for at least like a year until you get to the actual digital art stuff. I really only started touching digital art in college once I started majoring in animation because animation is mostly done digital now. But if you're taking like a drawing class or an anatomy class, you're most of the time going to have to do it traditionally because a lot of those professors are still um, very traditional, I guess you would say. Yeah, I used to study Mark Brunet's videos. That's how I learned how to draw bodies when I first started. Since I know I want this choker here, I will do that. And like this. The little friends on the sticker sheets? Which little friends? Oh, uh, if you're talking about the newer sticker sheets, like the red and like the pink one, yeah, those are the ones that I have in some minis. Some mini packs. You had an intro to realism course, freshman year of college. And you thought your professor did a good job of giving useful critique. Yeah, I think that's also another good thing about college is that you get, you get put into the situation where you have peers and you're there in person or on Zoom and you learn how to critique people and you learn how to take critique and take feedback and not like take it as a personal insult because uh, the internet is a horrible place for critique because people are like, the eye looks wonky. And then suddenly I lay in bed all sad because they were mean to me, you know, but in college, they try to teach you to do critique in a way where you don't, you don't target the artist, but you, um, for, let me see, how can I explain this? One of my professors, uh, always says to, Try to avoid, in, in an actual, like, constructive critique, 
avoid saying I like this and I don't like this. Be like, uh, say what you see. So it's like, <laughs> I'll target my own art. Um, like the tongue feels off, or I see that the tongue feels off, or something like that. Then you say, uh, how the person can do it better. So like maybe the tongue can be bigger and maybe it'll look better that way. So you're not insulting them and they're, they're learning and they're getting something, a suggestion on what they could do better without it, uh, hurting, possibly hurting their feelings. And so that's, I think a good value that art college has is that you get to learn, you know, art etiquette and some social, social skills, social skills along with it. The AP art credit didn't count as a credit. What? I mean, at least it was only $25 and not like $250. Well, that sucks. I was supposed to take art, uh, AP art in college. I actually signed up for it, but then my <laughs> my art teacher was like, oh yeah, for this to actually give you credit in college, I have to do a bunch of paperwork and I don't feel like doing that. So we're just going to say it's AP art, but it's not really. <laughs> so I didn't get any credit for it. <clears throat> and then when I transferred, a lot of the the intro art classes that I took in my first college didn't transfer over as a credit to my new college, so I had to retake them again. I've retaken intro to drawing or drawing one or whatever, like three times. <laughs> and I hate it every single time because I'm not learning. Do I use Procreate 2? I do. Uh, I don't draw on my iPad as much as I used to, but whenever I do, I do use Procreate. Whenever I'm like watching TV shows on my couch and I feel like drawing, then I use Procreate. You plan to move to Ireland? I always wanted to visit those places with the like, um, the really beautiful like greenery, green fields and stuff. <clears throat> Where 
Where do I sell my art? Uh, what do you mean by that? Because I have a shop where I sell some prints and stickers. Or do you mean like art commissions? Do I have any animating ideas? Because you have writer's block and carpal tunnel. Oh my god. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself an animator, but animating ideas? I don't know. <laughs> I have trouble coming up with that myself. Have you done some hand stretches? Those help with pain, right? I've had some hand pain before. Where like my hand was literally sore for a few days. But I don't think I have carpal tunnel. I don't think it's that severe. Yeah, I don't know if animating will help with carpal tunnel. Especially if your hands are throbbing. Oh, do I use any website? Uh, I use Etsy. And for my art commissions, I use VGen right now. I use Etsy and Shopify for my shop. This feels really nice to just do messy line art. Haven't done this in a while. I use a bunch of different brushes. Um, I've bought Eric Anthony's brushes, Blue Satan's. I've bought a bunch of brushes. And then I just revert to the same old HB pencil default that Procreate has. <laughs> so. HB pencil, 6B pencil, dry ink is really good if you don't want to spend money on newer brushes and Procreate. Procreate has some great default brushes. Thank you, thank you. I've also made some brushes on Procreate, uh, but I'll tell you a secret, I don't actually use them that much since, like I said, I always revert to the same HB brush, but when I need some extra texture in my art, uh, I do use my brushes because my brushes are mostly textured. For my for my stickers, when I, when I need a, a brush that's like really crunchy and uh this one wrinkly pen i recently made this dupe on um lip studio paint this one where it's a square square brush and i also have a solid version this one i originally made on procreate and i actually use that one a lot i use it to draw my stickers and to line them I don't know, it just has some good crunch to it. Like, look at that crunch. And if I turn anti-aliasing off, it's even more crunch. I tend to not use brushes that have opacity change. Yeah, HB pencil, round brush. There's some... Very good artists that literally only use like round brush from Pro not Procreate, I like Photoshop and stuff. So round brush is good. I personally, when I try to do it, I can't because 
I need my texture. Do I have any tips for overpainting? I would say keep loose with it because if you mess up, you can always change it. And have fun with it. Splash some color in some areas that maybe you normally wouldn't do. And uh, just experiment. Because how I basically found my, my overpainting method that I like to use is because I experimented a bunch. Oh gosh. Thank you, thank you. I am gonna have a Black Friday sale. I don't know if those prices will be um, any better for you. I'm gonna, I might do 20% off. Something like that. Yeah, messy is good. Messy has a charm to it. Like, I'm being extremely messy with these lines right now. I'm very much improvising with this hair. No, don't say sorry. I also have a bunch of stuff that I want to buy, but I just can't spare the money for it, so... You don't- you don't owe an artist support, okay? So don't say- don't apologize for... not being able to spend money. Or I guess- I guess you don't owe, I mean, you don't owe anyone anything, but don't feel like you have to support an artist uh, with money in a monetary fashion to feel like you're like really supporting them because anything works. I mean, you just being here in my stream is supporting me. I'm 
gonna do this. Thank you for the food. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for paying me. <laughs> thank you for the food, actually, because I can buy food now. Honestly, I think I might stop using VGen. I'm not going to lie. The fees are a little too much for me. <clears throat> it's a little more extra work, but I think if I just use PayPal invoices, it'll save me a lot of money. Any tips for drawing curly hair? Um, Study, or not study, but examine observe how curly hair is in real life um it depends i guess it depends on what type of curly hair you are um and understand that there's uh so many different types of curly hair and find out which which type it is that you want to draw um there's also good brushes for that uh Vigalia has Really good brushes for curly hair textures, like braids and stuff. These are some, you know, and you don't necessarily have to use them as is. Also, you could just use them as guidelines and then draw over them to get the look of the texture that you want. I, uh, I've used these before, and they've helped, but I personally like to freehand curly hair. Yeah, the fees are wild. I kind of, like, forgot about them the first time I used them, because in, like, a $15 commission, the fee isn't too much. Like, when Jake commissioned me for Carlac, but then... In a $300 commission, they take like 25 bucks, and I'm like, oh, okay, that was like one meal for me. <laughs> they just so I mean, it, it goes to the people who created the website, right? And they do deserve it because they make everything easier, but no, it, it sucks for me, it sucks. You have curly hair, you're trying to draw something more loose, like loose curls. Uh, like, do you mean like wavy rather than curly? Like, like this? Wavy instead of like this? Like if a person... Like this? Or like if they curled their hair with a curler. I like to draw loose curls like this stuff. Um, I mean, if you've drawn hair before, you know, follow the flow. So if you have an idea of what you want the curls to look like, follow the flow of the hair, you know? It's like, okay, that's the wave that I'm following. And then the other side. Follow the flow. They're not all going to go in the same way, right? Unless that's the type of hair that you want. Then, um... I like to draw hair that has a lot of wispies like this and like, like that. Ooh, are they gonna like, are they gonna like ship it to you or is it like all digital?
I actually don't know what clothing I want Kubi to wear yet. I just kind of went with her default, like, purple sh shirt with the sketch, but I want something more interesting. Okay, time to do the hand. Wait, this looks... I like how the mouth looks in the sketch better. They're mailing it. Oh. So did you have to like pay for shipping and stuff? Extra. Part of me just wants to copy this the sketch and like literally paste it on here. Maybe I will. Oh, but I can't because it's an overpainting. Yeah, I feel like shipping the cheapest with tracking is like four dollars, so it's not much. All right, let's go with that. Time for hand. Let's hope I don't struggle through this. I probably will, but we'll see. Warrior of Light commission? I need to get a commission of Warrior of Light jewels. I'm going to draw Kubi wearing long nails because I want to draw long nails. Would Kubi wear long nails? I feel like I saw her with long nails in some of the references in the toy house. This looks weird. She would. Awesome. I haven't worn long nails in a while. I can't believe I raided with long nails. 
How did I do that? And I didn't, like, feed. <laughs> I miss raiding. I miss raiding in Final Fantasy. I miss being a tryhard. But uh, I don't even know, like, everything that's changed. It's kind of scary to go back because I'm like, oh, what have I, what have I missed? I did not parse a 99 with long nails. I parsed maybe a 95. I'm being humble. If I did that now, though, I would parse gray. Did we even clear? Did we ever clear Phoenix? Hmm, this hand. Fangy's looking a little weird. Let's see. Ooh, I think I ran out of music. I'll just restart it. <laughs> we did. I wish we could have kept going with um the last one. I already forgot what it is. Is it E E four? No, not E four. I forgot the the letter. Four S something four S. Yeah. Yeah. Bad. How do I draw knuckles? I took a picture of myself for these hands. So Kubi's gonna have my hands. This entire, like, pose, actually. <laughs> I took a reference of myself. And that will never see the light of day. I don't think it was a 99. I think it was a 98. I, I remember um, we finished... And then someone was like, congrats on your 98. And I totally thought they were talking to someone else. And then they said my name and I was like, what? <laughs> How did that happen? I feel like I just crit like one too many times though. Got lucky. Because I definitely wasn't being optimal. How do I draw knuckles? No more humble. I'm okay. I'm pretty sure it was a 98, Megan. Hello, welcome back, Lord Mango Bell. Does anyone else here watch D20? 
I need I need to talk about D20. Because I went into it like, ooh, fun D D game, and then I sat there watching and crying in like almost every campaign I've watched because it got so emotional. Oh yeah, Megan, did your D&D &D thing with your friends happen yet? Here's the Olna bump that I was talking about last stream. Actually, would it show up here? Wait, no, that, that's not where the Olna is. The Olna is on the side of the pinky. I'm wrong. It would not have a bump there. Uh, it would kind of be here. Kind of. I don't know how much it would show up in this angle. My, as my, uh, in my reference image, it's covered up by a sleeve, so I can't see it. Uh, that's looking. No, I'll just leave it out. It looks weird. There's probably gonna be a sleeve there anyway. This music's kind of spooky. You need to finish Mentopolis. I haven't even started Mentopolis. I've just been doing the the main cast seasons. You're starting sometime next week. Are you like nervous? You nervous? You play some D and D. Deltarune? I haven't played Deltarune. Is that the one that is a uh, almost like a sequel of Undertale? Is that what Deltarune is? I haven't like I don't know much about it actually. So I don't I don't have an opinion. I did play Undertale once. Uh, and then I finished it and I got creeped out by the flowey fight and then uh, I never played it again. <laughs> but I did watch videos about Undertale. I haven't, I just haven't been playing games lately. It saddens me. Time to do the eye patch. So the eye patch. I have to look at Kubi references for this. When I sketched her, I totally forgot about the eye patch, and I had to add it in later because I did her other eye. There are some where they don't do the bottom line. 
feel like the bottom line is the, what I struggle with the most. This line here. That's why I didn't do it in the sketch. Um, but I want to make this work. Do you always forget to do the eye patch? I used to suck at drawing bodies, but I feel like I'm getting better because I'm actually starting to learn some anatomy stuff. Okay, while I try to figure this out, I'm going to put an ad. I'm I'm still gonna try. And I'll see if I can make it look all right. I'll use this. Oh, it's angled. It can't be like this. Hello, planet meow meow. Whoa, it's already three? When did I start? Oh, so I, it's been an hour since I started. I wish there wasn't a delay in stream. I don't know why there is. Because usually there isn't. Do it on a different layer. Never mind. Oh, almost forgot her mole. Do a line for now. Maybe like a bandage, maybe. I'll do this version and possibly that bandage version. And then do something like this. Just to test out how the strings might look. Messy. Then like that. Something like this. Oops. 
sick looking character indeed. The commissioner is in chat. Megan. Meg. So there's that version. I can bandage. Okay. Are there any that are like a bandage? Then it's a bit, uh, I don't know if I can make that work. I'll just go with the eye patch and then I'll mess around with the design of it once I overpaint. Yeah, the bottom line doesn't look too bad. Now, what could her outfit be? I was thinking a hoodie like the one that uh, New Hakase did. Except, uh, this one, I think. This one, except, uh, this would be the purple of her hair. Or maybe even... So, I think I did that in the sketch. Like this. But I don't, I'm not sure if I want to make the other side dark because it would clash with the hair and I can't make it pink because the background's pink I don't think she would wear yellow some type of thing like that I'll probably look on Pinterest for her ideas yo I'm I'm excited for you to commission that person again. Cuz I want to see more Kubi art from them. Okay, I'm getting sick of the music that I'm playing from the YouTube studio. So there's just going to be no music for now while I mute it and listen to my copyrighted music. So feel free to listen to your own music if you want some. Hoodie, hoodie. I'm looking on Pinterest for any design inspirations I've found before because I do have just a, a board of that. Just to make the, the visible part of the hoodie a little bit more interesting.
Oh gosh, I don't have any hoodies in my inspiration thing. Yes, I am doing line art right now. I'm just trying to figure out the outfit. So I had some downtime. No, oh, I don't know. I do want to get this line art over with because I want to color. Nor. Okay, maybe not a hoodie. Found this thing that has like cool straps. All right, let's. Let's go with a normal tea, and I will see what I can do with it. Maybe the choker will be the star of this piece instead of what she's actually wearing. Maybe she just has a... Maybe her hoodie is loose. What's going like this? I don't even know what I drew here. What is this? An X?
fuck is this? Like, what is this going on? <laughs> what did I do? Nonsensical designs. Ugh. I don't like the big X. I mean, small X. I'll add these details in overpainting. Yeah, I'll add this in overpainting. I'm eating. I'm eating air. I haven't actually eaten today. Okay, that's good enough for now, for lines. I just clean it up. With layer masks. All right. I also have the color now. So I'm going to pull out the Pantone color.
That's so different from the color that I picked, my god. And light trick. And colors. Good coloring brushes for Procreate? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not super familiar with Procreate brushes, I'm not gonna lie. Um, a nice textured one that I think is like Tinkerbox in inking. Like if you just do flat colors, but with blending, I don't use the, the blending brushes, so I'd, I wouldn't know, unfortunately. Yeah, I have the same answer anyway. I don't really know. Um, I don't know. What are you What are you looking for? Are you looking for like blending brushes that, uh, or like that imitate watercolor or the wetness of paint? I don't have my iPad with me, so I can't really look <laughs> at the names of the brushes and the stuff.
I think Blue Satan has some good painterly, like oil type of painting brushes. I brought Sergeant Oils, I think is what it's called. So the it kind of feels like I'm painting on a canvas with uh, oil paint. They kind of blend into each other also. Yeah, maybe I could still make... Megan's still here? How, if Megan, if you're still here, how strict are you with abiding by the Pantone color? Doesn't have to be an exact color pick. Okay. Cool. Well, I go with this pink color instead. Very neon. What the heck happened? What happened? Oh wait, that's the wrong layers. Okay. What I normally play in my videos? Uh, what do you mean by that? Like music? I hate the delay in, on stream. I wish I could stop it.
Ah, shoot. Shouldn't have merged those. Okay, that's it for the flats, and then... Do want to give her makeup? Let's see. Maybe purple. Maybe purple and pink.
I'm not talking as much because I am in the zone. I've been trying to move the canvas less, but I forgot already. I think she looks best with black lipstick. And I can lighten it up a little bit.
And I'm going to shade the hair a little bit and then move on to overpainting. This one over like that. All right. Overpainting time. What nail color works best for dark skin? Uh, I think if we're, we're saying natural nails. Let's see. I think people with dark skin, their nails, uh, tend to be the the color of their palm so or are a little lighter so if you look here right their their skin color do this then Here's a little darker. Uh, their palm is lighter. And then... Yeah, it's kind of the same value, their nail, natural. So if we're, you're going for like a nude, nude nail look, this is a lot lighter though. Um, but nails... I mean, if you look at your own nail, there's supposed to be like a thing like this. 
as a nail. Then uh, the tip of a person with darker skin, their their finger, right, is lighter right here because it this this separation here extends to their tip right here right here so it shows up there i'll take this color so if this is a person's nail i'm not an expert on this but just from observation and then you take that color or right here like that and just to have the separation you can do that let's add some line art then you take that color here and there's a crest there on the skin. Then sometimes I like to add like a uh, the shine. <laughs> I like to extend it like kind of into the skin like this. Like that so it looks shiny. This would be blended way better. Painted nails. I see these late. Since there's a delay. Um, I feel like, yeah, it's more about undertone. It depends on the, the person's undertone. So this is a redder undertone. As you see here. If they had a more a yellower undertone, and then like even redder undertone. That's when color theory gets in. I mean, really, I feel like any color works. Um, I like to do neon color. So if like, let's say, uh. You're wanting a neon pay a uh, neon color. This is wrong. Like this is looking green. Maybe they're lighter. A neon, like or a pink, right? If you want a pink, sorry, this like a pink. This same color is going to look different. It might be flattering on some and not flattering on others because it matches the undertone. Like this, this is not good. That, you know, you might want to choose a peachier uh, pink. Or lighter, lighter pink. You, you, because the, the hue changes here. Maybe that's too, let's see. Like it turns into more of an, an orangey pink rather than a pink. I think this looks good, this one. And then this one, maybe a darker pink. You change it a little bit to more red rather than uh, magenta. And then that personally looks better, in my opinion. So the hue has to change depending on, you know, you can't just color pick a color and be like, yeah, that's going to look good on every skin color. So adjustments need to be made.
like right here that purple i might change it to this to this pink later on because it might match better but i do want to do like a design here so But I would say, um, <laughs> ask an artist who has dark skin. I don't have dark skin, so I don't, uh, my knowledge is less trustworthy. I'm going to go with a dark eye. Where am I? Dark eye and then a little bit of eye color. I'll do this. This might look cool. Oh my god, she likes the makeup. I did it.
You want to eat my art? You know, I get that comment a lot, and it makes me wonder, like, <laughs> why? Why do people associate art with food? Because I've never had that urge to eat someone's art. Is there certain art that looks yummier than others? Help me understand. Looks so yummy, but how? It looks like it would taste like a haichu. I mean, haichus are good. Is it because of the colors? So what, <laughs> what kind of art looks like it would taste like spaghetti? Is there art that looks like it would taste like spaghetti? Gangly long limbed art. That that sounds sounds scary. Old movie posters was okay. I kind of get that. Yeah. Something old and retro. That seems to be the general agreement here is that retro -y looking art with the spaghetti. All right, let me throw a curveball at you. What uh, what type of art would taste like? Let's see, mushroom soup. Well, actually, now that I think of it, that would be like kind of retro -y art. Because then I think of like camp bell soups, and then that just takes me to Andy Andy Warhol. I'm trying to think of other foods now. What a cottage core for mushroom soup? What about fried chicken? I feel like red and white makes me think fried chicken because I immediately think of like the picnic blanket type thing. Those taste like soup.
What about salad? Like landscape art? Like forest art? You think salad? It looks like it would taste like salad. I'm intrigued now. Okay, so if you saw art of a messy kitchen, like absolutely messy, disgusting, dishes haven't been washed, there's still food on them, how does that taste? <laughs> Modern art? <gasps> Wait, that's I I feel that. It's like kinda like kinda like boring art. It tastes like salad. Or at least the boring version of modern art. There's some modern art that isn't boring. Charcoal. Wow. Time for these loops. I listen to music. Yeah, I'm listening to music right now. It's just it's copyrighted, so I can't play it. But I had music on before. Um, it's just it's from the YouTube Studio Library, and it's just not my type of music, like instrumentals and stuff.
Yeah, it sounds like stock music, and I just I can't get behind it. Isn't there rock soup? Isn't that like a thing? Where they they put rocks in soups or like boil spots or something? I feel like I've seen something like that. Layers tutorial. <clears throat> I don't know what a layers tutorial would be.
The brush I am using is a brush I made called the Everything Brush. You can find it in my <clears throat> excuse me in my Gumroad Gumroad link in my description. It should be pay what you want. I think it might look better without the white. Like how I use layers for drawing. Um, I don't know if that's really like a teachable thing. Maybe. We'll see if I like that. I'll keep it there for now. Making this actually might do this. And then this. And then this.
or or this combination. Okay, I like this one better. That's a cute nail design. I want thicker lines. I feel like they got thinner as I started rendering.
Hello, hello, little doodle devil. Hello, diastema. I'm being a little quiet because uh, I'm in the zone working on this. I'm in my groove. I'm take a break.
All right. Hello. I'm back, but I'm also recording on my phone for my video and I'm running out of space. So I have to transfer the files. Gonna merge this. Hello? Sorry, I'm being quiet because I'm just trying to do this as fast as possible. I have another commission to do this month, so... Hi! Not the Alaska high. It's so fun watching All Stars 2 again, after like being converted to an Alaska fan. The first time I watched it, I was a Katya fan. And I low-key did not like Alaska.
What did I do here? The shirt. Is it supposed to be the hoodie? Might be. All right. I'm revisiting the hoodie. I'm just hoping for the best. This isn't going to be in the video though, because I can't record since I'm running out of space. Hello, Kokian. As yet, finished taking a break. I'm working on a commission. I don't know what I'm doing with this shirt. Yeah, I don't know why I'm struggling with this so much. Ooh. I'm kind of bad at drawing hoodies, as you can see.
Okay, the hoodie's looking better. It still kind of doesn't make sense, though. Okay. I'm fully improvising now. Rendering is pretty satisfying to watch. It's my favorite part. And I can be as messy as I want. Hello, Brew. It's kind of weird to to see people refer to me as like folk, you know. I'm like makes me feel old. Is the jacket really jacketing, though? I was struggling with this. The stripes are not it.
Maybe if it's like this only. I guess that's fine, but it kind of looks out of place. Oh wait, this is merged with the the background. Oh no. This is when layer masks come in handy is when I mess up like this. And this is also when backup layers come in handy. I don't want to render the hair yet because I want to record from the video and I still can't. I'm still halfway through transferring the file. So I'm just doing small stuff right now. Maybe I could do the background since I don't really like to include the background in videos. I mean, in the sketch, she looks like a preschooler, and then in the render, she looks like an adult, or the other way around. Want the nail to be longer. Right, I wanted her thumb. Her thumb should be here. Oh. So before the overpainting. Actually, I don't want to put her thumb.
Another star here. Another heart over here. This is just a temporary background. I'll clean it up later. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna draw you stars. They're still looking a little wonky, but that's the fun part. I feel like perfect stars look too stiff. I'm getting confused with my layers.
I need to do the choker also. There's X's. What if I do this? Can I rotate this? I can't rotate this. Oh, I can. Nor always bad. Okay. <clears throat> I want these to be more pointed. Look right here. You can watch me draw for hours. Thank you. This part is pissing me off. Right.
Hello. I rotate this one, make five. Then this one shrunk down. Ooh. Shrunk down. Overlapping for chaps. No. This? No. Like this? This? Rotated like that? This star is too big. You finished your drawing. Congratulations. That is an accomplishment. Trying to see what other decoration I could put in the background. Maybe some twinkles. And then um, X uh, um, purple X. Or something like that. What if this was purple? All of your art is whips. I kind of feel that though. With smaller art pieces, it's it's difficult to get them to a finished form.
My tips have been helping you. I'm glad. I'm glad that my rambles about art are doing some good. Okay, my download finished. Awesome. Means I can render the hair now and stop stalling. Let me just clear up the space on my phone. I may or may not finish this today. I didn't expect myself to work for this for as long as I've been working, but... It's been working out. Our ramblings are good. Never had anyone tell me that. That's the reason why I started my channel. It's because I wanted to ramble. So I appreciate that.
same Kokian. I feel like when when someone is just talking about something they really like, I could listen to it. You know, I will be interested in it. Like, uh, I have watched like an eight hour, four hour video on just something someone's talking about. Even if I don't know anything about it, it's just because they're so passionate about it that I like, I can actually listen to it for that long. Oh my gosh, it makes me so happy. It's, I really want to turn it into an episodic series where I talk about what actually goes on in this story. And there's been a lot of interesting and wild things that have happened in the story so far. It's the beauty of creating a story with dice. Hello, I'm just rendering my commission right now. You don't have time or friends to play with. Uh, the fun thing about what I'm doing with the solo D&D is that you can do it on your own time and you don't have to play with anyone but yourself and dice. Which is why I do it. Plus, I get anxious in group situations and I'm like, what if it's not fun? Then you don't have to worry about scheduling conflicts and all that and you just roll dice by yourself and it's fun plus you could like be as embarrassing as you want with your rp if you are into rping and you don't have to feel embarrassed because it's just you by yourself Uh, I don't like the way I rendered this. How do I do this in a way that is simple yet also detailed? Yeah, so when you do it solo, the the questions that you would normally ask like a, a DM, like if you come across a door or something and you're like is the door locked you ask that question to a table 
and uh, the table will be like, um, you roll a dice, and if you roll between uh, 1 and 50, then it's a yes. And if you roll from 51 to 100, then it's a no. And I'm simplifying it here, but it's like, if I roll and then I get like 34, that's a yes, so the door is locked. And then you'll have to figure out what to do in order to unlock it. Took me a bit to figure it out, but once I got into the groove of like how I like to play it, uh, it got really, really fun. I haven't played again though because I want to draw out some of the scenes that have happened first before uh, making more of the story. What form or website do I play D&D on? Uh, I don't play it on a website. I just like roll dice and I use Mythic GME. This is what it's called. For all the tables. And I just write it down in like a Google Doc. Kind of like creative writing. Yeah, you wish you could play D and D. You don't have friends to play with. Yeah, oh, uh, I mean, I have friends who play D and D, but I, I'm just feeling a little too embarrassed to dive into it with other people. So that's why I play by myself. If you want to see how a person would play D and D by themselves, uh, let me send a good example because. I watch someone do it on YouTube and that's what pushed me to finally just start playing by myself because they made it look so fun. Let's see. Here's a link to the YouTube video that I watched. And the, the fun thing about like solo or the system that I use is like you find out information as you go. Because even though technically you're the only one writing the story, uh, you can still get surprised by like plot twists and stuff because you can ask uh, if you meet like an NPC and then you just decide to randomly ask like... um. Did they betray me or something like that, you know, and then you roll and you get yes, then suddenly it's like gasp, like plot twist, this person betrayed you or, you know, stuff like that. And it's it's only as interesting as you make it, because as long as you ask interesting questions to the table that you're rolling on, then you will get interesting answers. It's fun. It's fun. I would share my sessions because I do record my sessions, but I think I'm a little too embarrassed to show myself being sloppy and figuring stuff out in a session of solo D&D. &D. Guys, I don't know what I'm doing with this hair. Like, I... I feel like just rendering it as simple as possible, but then I keep adding detail and I'm not liking how it's looking. Yeah, and it could be fun just by yourself, too, as long as you try it.
Oh god, I'm struggling. How do I do this? For some reason, I just forgot how to render hair. Like, in this moment. How do you flip in Clipsy Paint? I changed my shortcut to H, so I don't know what the default is. Let me see. Might be in view. I I hate like substitute a shortcut thing because it's it's hard to find what you're looking for but yeah it's in here somewhere <laughs> i would look for it but i'm trying to finish this Rusty Sue Cream Brush. Maybe if I switch to this, that would work out. Yeah, you could probably Google um, Lip Studio Paint. Flip canvas uh, shortcut, and then someone out there will tell you how to find it in the shortcuts. Because for some reason, they don't have a search bar for it, which is really annoying. Work on this part first, maybe I'll get into the groove of it.
when I finish the rough sketch and want to color, I fill it first. Yeah, I, uh, I fill it with flat colors like this. Well, I kind of shaded the colors a little bit, but yeah, like this. I want the lines to be thicker. Should be a hair tie there, but the way I've drawn this is kind of weird. Okay, things cannot make sense. So that's just not going to make sense up here for a bit. Maybe I'll make sense of it. Who knows? Art doesn't have to make sense. There's white where the lines were. What is the character's name? This character's name is Kubi. Kubi Kubiwa, I think. You mean like, if I draw a circle, I wanna fill it, I first uh, select right here. The selection tool has an area scaling. That makes it slightly bigger than what I selected. Then I go to a layer underneath and I fill it. And if there's white there, then I can just go in and fill that in manually. The drawing tablet I'm using is in the description. It is the XP pen. Artist 14 Pro second generation. It's a mouthful. Wait, brush. I'll do this and then that. Boom, boom. Like that. And then like that. And then like that. Why did I decide on this tablet like Wacom? I got this tablet from a sponsor that was sponsored by XP Pen, so I had to review it. And Wacom is very, very expensive. Even their smallest tablet is expensive. Uh, my first display tablet was XP Pen. 
uh, which is way cheaper than Wacom. And it's I got it just because it was affordable and there was a holiday discount like, I don't know, five years ago or six years ago. Uh, Wacom is industry standard and it is highly trustworthy, I guess, but it's not affordable. Um, Wacom was a huge thing back then because they were one of the first brands that got really popular for display tablets. It's like how Adobe is the industry standard, right? And that's because Adobe had a monopoly basically on these drawing programs like Photoshop and also editing programs like Premiere Pro. And Wacom was the one everyone got because it was the only brand out there. But then now there's brands like XP Pen, Gaumon, Huon, Huion. Um, there's a bunch of brands now. And there's so many affordable options. Some brands like uh there are some brands that just have better drivers also than Wacom. So I mean Wacom is like you're gonna have to spend maybe a thousand bucks, five hundred for a drawing tablet, but others uh even even the pen tablet that I first got back then, it was ninety nine dollars. And now there's drawing tablets you can get that are equally as good and that just work for what you need for like thirty five bucks. Why Clip Zero Paint and not Photoshop? Well, Photoshop is a subscription-based program where I would have to pay, like, I don't know how much it is it now. I don't know how much it is now, but I would rather buy a program one time, like a one-time price, than subscribe to Adobe for uh, every month just to use it. That's also why Procreate is so popular on iPad is because it's a one-time payment of $10. But I did upgrade to Clipsudo Paint X so that I could animate on it and that was like an extra 200 bucks on upgrade. I do use Premiere Pro though and I subscribe to that because I don't feel like learning another program. You're gonna get going. Well, thank you for showing up, Kokian. Goodbye. All right, hair's getting easier to do. I do want to add more flair to it eventually. Hello, literally Spider-Man. Can I draw Spider-Man? I drew Miles Morales. As himself, though, not as Spider-Man. Oh, wait, I think I missed the question. Uh, do, do you like using keyboard or do you like... Oh... Uh, I had the opportunity to use Toolbox, but I declined it because uh, I don't like using buttons. Like, you know how tablets have buttons on the side? I don't like using those. So I'm a keyboard. I have my hand on Control Z at all times and on spacebar to move my canvas and stuff. It's just muscle memory thing. Like I started out using the keyboard 
and so I'm so used to it that I, if I try to use buttons, my hand will naturally like gravitate toward the keyboard. So I might as well just use a keyboard anyway. Plus, I think the the thing that bothers me about using other things is that there's not as many buttons as I I like there to be, and like on the keyboard, there's so many. What first got me interested in art? I think it was anime or video games, like a whole lot of other people. I remember drawing uh, Naruto in my sketchbooks, and and then I started playing League. Ew. And then I I saw the splash arts on League, the splash art. And I was so inspired by it. And when I was like 10 or 11, I was like, I want to do that in the future. I want to draw splash arts for League of Legends. But of course, things have changed and I don't want to do that anymore. But that's what mainly got me into art. Can I draw Peter Parker Spider-Man? Have I ever? I don't think I've ever. Do I plan on doing a drawing your, like drawing my OCs or, or drawing your, my viewers OCs? viewers i have um when i got i forget it might have been 60k subscribers i did i uh, accepted submissions and i did a video on that uh drawing people's ocs i also once did a design contest where the the price was the prize was um uh, me drawing your oc Will I do it anytime soon? I don't know. I, I have a lot of work to do, so I might not have time for that. Or if I did, they would only be doodles. They wouldn't be like finished pieces like this. Could be fun on a stream to, to do um, just sketches though. So literal Spider-Man, who is your, your favorite Spider-Man actor? What has been the best tips that I've learned about art? Uh, that's kind of difficult, a difficult question because there's just so many. Um, what helped me was just to be loose with it because, uh, a thing that prevented me from really finding my style was that I was trying to be so perfect all the time. And then the moment that I d uh, decided to embrace messiness, uh, and 
just like messy lines and the imperfections in my art that is when i found the style that i like to do So be loose with it. Not everything has to be perfect. That's the favorite tip that I've found. Can't wait to buy them. Well, I will say wait to buy them until I do my Black Friday sale this, uh, not this weekend. Well, yeah, this weekend after Friday. I'm going to close, uh, either after I stop streaming or tomorrow to prepare for the Black Friday sale. What are my favorite ship dynamics? I wouldn't say I have a favorite ship, but uh, I'm a sucker for like a good executed enemies to romance. I've read a lot of romance books, specifically historical romance. And I also like it, I like the pen pal trope where people like writing letters to each other. At the top of my head, I can't name a specific ship, though, that I've liked. Can't remember. I almost forgot about the the choker. All right, how am I gonna do this? What is my favorite anime? My favorite anime is One Piece. Yes, I am a One Piece degenerate. What is my favorite day of the week and why? Um, I'm going to be basic and I'm going to choose Friday 
because the beginning of the weekend or Saturday because it is the weekend. I have a lot of love for the weekend. What canvas size? Uh, I use this is it. Let's see, I go by inches, but this was pixels around. That's more than two thousand. I usually aim for more than two thousand, and my DPI is three hundred and fifty, at least three hundred. What is my dream? Asking a hard hitting question. Um, I would say that my dream is as an artist to, or maybe not even just as an artist, just in general. One of my goals in life is to create characters and share them with people and have a community that like loves and cherishes those characters as much as I do and uh I I can see people discuss the characters amongst themselves the story and I can discuss it because I like to like go on reddit and see what other people think of like tv shows or like uh comics manga anime whatever and I like to discuss with other people about characters and I would be like, that would be great if if people would do that with my characters. So that's my my dream. Or to just in general, um I guess be able to live a stable life where I could just do whatever I want and uh have a job that lets me have fun <laughs> instead of dreading the job that I that I do. I've I've thought of making a web comic like a couple of years ago, but I decided that I don't have the skill set yet to achieve that. And so at the moment, now because I have this YouTube channel and this YouTube audience, I'm thinking of making videos about my characters and making art for those videos. So kind of like an animatic, if you if you know what those are. So I want to make those of my characters. So instead of a full-blown webcomic, uh, it could just be animatics while I, I talk about my characters. The webtoon or webcomic, it's a lot of work. You not only have to be an artist, but you have to be a writer and an editor and all of that. It's hard. It's difficult. 
so many webtoon artists or mangakas and stuff they are like super duper overworked and depressed because of the amount of work that they have to do in order to have a comic Yeah, to be to be interested in them enough to talk about them and stuff and so far I am taking step steps towards it. I just want to be able to make a character or a story that uh, people get invested in the same way that I get invested in other stories. It's ambitious, I will say, but I think it's doable doesn't have to be a full blockbuster type thing. I just want, you know, some interest. It's nice when people are interested about something you made, like, out of passion. Like a passion project. It's nice to know that people are interested in a passion project that you did. How do I make this look like metal? Let's see. Definitely doesn't look like metal, but whatever. That looks bad. I'll just keep it simple. I think now all I have to do is finish the background and this will be done. Also add highlights to stuff. Let's add some pinkish highlights to the hair. Hello, hello, Marsha. This is Clip Studio Paint. Not forgetting anything, am I? 
I haven't rendered the eye patch. Almost forgot. Oh my god. I mean, this doesn't need too much rendering. I wanted to add more flair to this, but honestly, I think it's looking fine already. How did they... this one... connected like that? When commission's open, I have, I think I do have them open on VGen. I might close them though, because I'm feeling pretty booked for November. But something like this is open, I think, I believe on VGen currently. You need nails like her. Have you ever had long nails, Megan? It feels so good to have them, but it feels so bad because you can't do anything. You can barely type. Also, don't apologize for asking questions. It gives me something to talk about. They always break. What are you doing that your long nails are breaking? Like, like fake nails or like just long natural nails? I can't grow long natural nails. If I tried, I would have a uh, very strong impulse to cut them. So I can only do it with fake nails. Oh, long natural. Uh, it, Marsha, if you mean if the VOD of the stream is going to be up, it, it will. It'll just need a couple of hours afterwards to process and upload. But, uh, YouTube does it automatically. I keep them up. It'll be in the stream tab in the... It, on my channel. I just realized I forgot to, like... Put up on Instagram and Discord that I am streaming. But that's fine. I'm very forgetful. I don't... I just did this, but I don't know if I like the purple... The, the purple straps. I don't know if I like it. That's fine, I guess. They're fine. Right. I feel like I'm forgetting stuff. But I do need to wrap this up. So. All right. Um.
Should I line that? Maybe. Maybe just like this. I look ugly. Then what if I, if I do this, or this, not too much, is it distracting? Might be a little distracting. Okay, and then over here, do something like this. This, oh, I guess. I like this. No. I'll probably include a version where these borders aren't there, but for now I'll keep them. And I'll do this part. So I like to be really obnoxious with my colors.
something like that. Megan, what do you think? Right here, the the these borders, yay or nay? With or without? I started a YouTube channel because I wanted to talk about whatever I wanted to talk about for long periods of time. I just wanted to ramble, and also wanted to share my art. No, don't worry about the questions. Fave anime character ever? Um... Zoro or Robin from One Piece. I really love Robin. One of my gay awakenings there. My bisexual awakenings. Those two characters, honestly. Um, other than them, don't know. Then lastly, uh, merge this. And then Okay. And then I'm keeping the borders. I almost forgot to call a watermark. Hold on. Where shall I put this? Put it here, thank you. That's a lot smaller than I thought. Just a little bit of chromatic aberration. Oh, wait, no, this should be blue, not green.
Not even noticeable. There you go. Then add some texture over it. Like so. Actually, some filters. This looks a bit better. Try a different texture. Yeah, almost finished, just adding finishing touches. Forgot, is it this one? Are you enjoying One Piece so far? With and without. With. With. Without. Okay, I might have gone overboard with the texture. I'll include multiple versions, whatever. All right, I'm done. How long did it... Oh my god, it's almost been five hours. I've almost been streaming for five hours. There better not be anything that I missed on this. I'm gonna be so mad if like I send it to Megan and then I I find a mistake. I think this is it. This should be it. Finish the Arlong stuff, yeah. It is a good anime. I think the Arlong Park is really when it hits too. When you discover if, if you're a One Piece fan or not. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being here. We're going to end now. And I'm, I'm, I recorded all this, so this is going to be a video eventually. And who knows how long that'll take for me to edit that into a, a speed paint video or a draw with me but the vod will be up it'll just need a few hours to uh upload or process especially since it's almost five hours long 
I'll try to timestamp it like when lines start and colors start. Oh my god, uh, hello and goodbye. But yeah, thank you for tuning in.